Hey everyone, <laughs> my name is Paul Savage and you're listening to Tears and Testosterone. If you can hear this, you should probably shut off your computer or radio or whatever this is playing on because you probably aren't supposed to be listening to it. Or you can or you can listen, that works for me too. Alright, in studio today we have the the regulars. Say hello, regulars. You could give our names or something. I wanted yeah. you to. Okay, well, my name is Justin Yab. Hi, Justin. And I am the co-host of this podcast. All right. Yeah, I'm Noah Watson. I was going to say it's good to be back <laughs> after a week-long uh, absence. It's actually been two weeks. Is it two weeks? It's been two weeks. Yeah, we had Founders Week, and then mm. last week I was sick. Dang. That's right. I forgot about Founders Week. Special guest, everybody. We've got a girl yo, in the room. Yo, yo, yo. Estrogen and empowerment coming yeah. at you. Oh, Linnea. My name is Linnea. My rap name's Linnea DePlea. I go by oh, both. Dang. Yikes. Wow. Yeah. Linnea, so cool. you have a personality, and I'm glad that it's on this show right now. Oh, thank you, Paul. Yeah. I have loaded myself up with a kombucha, and <laughs> we're going to have a great day today, everybody. Yeehaw. Okay. Yeehaw. Am I, right? um, Am I right, Noah? Right, Noah. That's what we say in the South. Yep. <laughs> yep. So the weather is it's cold. Not good. Cold. Chilly, weather. Willy. It's less snowy. This That's is nice. what men talk about, Linnea. We talk about the weather, and I wanted to take the opportunity to do that. I feel show like you a bro like. now. Thank you. That's what we do. Yeah, wow. Dude. I'm mastering that. I'm mastering the whole dad conversations about the weather. There's like a there's a guy at the elevator. We had the most dad conversation ever. <laughs> said, "Hey man, it's been a while. I haven't <laughs> seen you in so long." <laughs> said, "Yeah, Paul, how the heck are you?" I just said, "I'm doing all right, man, but this weather, it's killing me." Oh, that's awful. How, how are the then kids? We, we, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, th- I think I did ask him about some kids. I think uh-huh. he has like a PCM some kids. with kids. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> how are how are kids? How are kids? <laughs> you see, when kids it gets good. this cold out, I do a thing called Saint a song that I made up. Okay. Do you want to hear yes, it? Yes, I do. Sing okay. It. So you run and you go like this and you say, "Chilly Willie was a man. Chilly Willie had no hands." <laughs> That's all. That's Thanks, the whole song. Thanks, That's wonderful. Yeah. Wow. So if you get really cold, it's because Chili Willy lost his hands from frostbite. It's a song to encourage kids Dang. to wear gloves. It's very dark. It yeah. is, but, but I like it. That's how children hymns are supposed to be, very exactly. dark. Exactly. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Just like the good old days. Uh-huh. Noah, can you sing that for us? No. Come okay. on. With no. your country accent. Come on, yeah, bro. Yeah, your southern... Your I'm not a singer. Willy Willy had no hands. <laughs> It's chilly, Willie. Yeah, it's Come chilly. Come on, Paul. I wasn't listening That's real well. Willie, Willie. Wow. <laughs> what kind of children's name <laughs> is that? What kind of name is that in general? I don't know. I could only remember Willie, and so I just said it twice. Dang. Oh. Yeah. You guys know that T-Rexes had feathers? This is the I've conversation. Heard, I've heard the theory. Yeah. <sighs> T-Rexes had feathers? They did. Isn't that nuts? Where do you get that from? I don't know if I can trust that. I found it. I don't <laughs> remember. Super big. <laughs> I Not found it. I mean, they've been hypothesizing for a while that <laughs> dinosaurs are birth yeah. ancestors. You guys should look huh. up the pictures on your free time because it's pretty pretty wild what they say they look well, like. Well, I'm not busy this of weekend. Just dinosaurs. So. Yeah. Sounds like no, just T-Rex. Google you got to look at a T-Rex. T-Rex. Yeah, because T-Rexes are massive. Were their hands like, or like their arms like chicken like claws? Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Whenever Chick- I, whenever chickens I, don't have arms, Justin. They Shut have up. feathers. Yeah, but they have a little, little, little country boy feet. would know, wouldn't he? That's they true. No you arms. handle chickens <laughs> there in Carolina? <laughs> they don't. The chickens they love you. Arms. Also, they're really small, and T Rexes are really big. Yeah, okay, thank you. You know, I held thank a chicken. Thank you, Farmer once. Noah. Pooped you, in my hands. You held a chicken? Yeah. It that means it loves pooped? you. Pooped? <laughs> Wait, I yeah, thought if it pooped, pooped it, it, that meant it laid an egg. No, no, that's, no they that's actually, actually poop and lay eggs. They do okay. them both. Yeah. Can I ask kind of a question about that process? Yeah, I love questions. <laughs> okay. What you got? I love so questions. Does the egg come out of the same spot the poop did? I think there's a separate egg hole, but I could be wrong. Oh, Noah, wow. you're an expert on this. What do you think? No, you're from the south. I couldn't tell you. With my, yeah. You're Don't you like help the them? Right Don't you help them like lay their eggs? I couldn't. No, I couldn't. Isn't that the job of like every southern in, dude. person? They do their thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're my a grandma. My grandma would know. She worked would around she? chickens for a long time. But Next week, uh, guest speaker Noah's grandmother. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I have I no clue. I can ask her. Wow, chickens are marvelous. <laughs> they are. How do they do that? I I don't know. Wow. That's like, I've That's never crazy, tried dude. to. I've never been a chicken myself. And they lay an egg like. 
uh, every day, right? Yeah, that's right. Like, that's women are like, wow, the birthing process, but chickens, that's who <laughs> really day. have it hard. That's every right. Day, I always thought it was yeah. really overrated. What? Chickens? No, Birth? like the the whole birthing process thing. Like over. What are you talking? You know about? what I'm you saying? You choose to say this the one time there's a girl on the show. <laughs> Seriously. Really, Noah? <laughs> that's kind of rude, man. Yeah. yeah I'm just Dang saying, Noah. you know, if chickens can do it every day. Then, then what's the big deal? <laughs> How many times a day do you do it, Noah? How many or times ever? a day do you give Come birth, on. Noah? Think about it, man. Eggs <laughs> are pretty fragile. I don't know how they can like get that out without crushing it. True. I don't know, because it seems like that's true though. What's more fragile, an egg or a baby? That's a good question, man. If you drop an egg, it's going to crack. If you drop a baby, <laughs> it's, it's also going to crack. That's <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what my mom said when she dropped at me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mom. When I'm listening to this. It's okay. Ooh. She's not. <laughs> yeah, why would she? That's a good point. Wait, Paul, you just apologized as if you were his mother. Yeah, I did. I think Thanks, that we're Mom. getting to something here. <laughs> Paul. Wait, so how's how's the weather? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Guys, um, t- look at the sky today. Talk about blue. It makes me depressed, honestly. I go outside and I just get so sad. Yeah. Um, I woke up this morning and it was just like a whole new level of depression just from uh, thinking about how cold it was outside. I think it's just the temperature because it could yeah. look the same outside and be warm and I'd be mm-hmm. a lot happier. Yeah. 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 The sun is good. That's true, too. I like the sun. Yeah. It's what bright. sun? <laughs> Apollo. <laughs> exactly. Apollo's the god of the sun. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's true. That's really cool, anyway, Paul. I, kind of. I'm into that, like Greek myths and stuff. I mm. wish I could. Like, I want to get into that, but I yeah. don't know how. Yeah, I think there's there's a bit of a, of a learning curve <laughs> to it. Um, I started with Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Yep, I started reading I those, it. and I was okay. like, wow, this is really cool. And so I started getting books and stuff. Yeah. But I've been studying for years, you know, seventh yeah. grade all the way to now. So. Dang. Yeah. But the poop. Yep, so sorry. You might I as can't well do just anything now. You might have missed the boat. That dream. It's, it's you missed lost. that middle school Trash. reading phase. That's right. Good to know. All the background is gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When, I, when I go to the zoos with people, and we look at, like, ostriches and other birds, the zoos. There's more than one zoo, Justin. No, I thought you said Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> when I go see Zeus. Wow. My bad. When I take people to see Zeus, the god of thunder. <laughs> He'll be the next special guest. Yeah. <laughs> next week. Zeus, god of thunder. Zeus, how do you, you feel about up? modern Christianity? <laughs> <laughs> how does it feel to not be the real god? <laughs> you suck, Zeus. <laughs> You've been dethroned, son. <laughs> But ostriches at the zoo. Yeah, I see yeah. ostriches, and I tell people, I say, hey, this is the closest living relative to a T Rex. And so when you watch the way it walks and everything, try to imagine that is massive. And that's that's a T Rex. Terrible. That's a. Uh, Where are you getting these facts? I just have them. They're uh-huh. just in my head. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, he I, he dreams them. <laughs> <laughs> I have some wild dreams. Have you seen man. ostrich eggs, like pictures? They're like insanely huge. I think are ostriches. They? Go through more pain than chickens. When they you think? Well, eggs. they're well. Let's think about proportions. Yeah, they're much bigger. Have you seen an ostrich egg? Ostriches Paul? are much larger than chickens, though. I'm sure their egg hole is much larger <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> Noah's processing that right now. The egg hole. Have I you seen an ostrich that. egg, Paul? <laughs> no. I, I think it's I've a seen greater an emu proportion. Egg. Okay. Okay. Well, you're cool. That's so. pretty large. <laughs> Isn't an emu like a llama? No, I think it's also like an ostrich. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Because llamas don't lay eggs. Right. <laughs> right. Llamas are actually mammals. There right. are no observed egg layings uh, from llamas. <laughs> I think <laughs> you meant alpaca, and alpaca is like a llama. Why would you bring That's that true. up? <laughs> one time, one time we it's were at South. a zoo. Super personal. One time we were at a zoo in Ohio, the Creation Museum. Yeah. Are you familiar? Wait, we, that's in Ohio? I thought that was here in Indiana. I mean, in where do you think we are, Paul? Either Kentucky or Ohio. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's right on the line, I think, of Kentucky and Ohio. Oh, yeah. Um, Some girl told me it's like an hour away from my house. So Yeah, <laughs> it's um, it's a cool place, but we were there with a group of people, and one of the dads in uh, the group was spit on by an alpaca. Nice. So kind of metal. Did he keep it? That was pretty cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's, a dream. it's true. They do spit. spit. Wow. That's really cool. Thanks. It's Thanks impressive. For sharing, Noah. Noah. I w- I wish. <laughs> wow. What if we would spit? No, Linnea, stop. 
What do you mean? Finish that. We, we can spit. What if, I mean, like, can what if not? that was like a normal, like, hey, oh. how are you? Like, I just spit on you. That's, That's not be, normal. That'd be funny. <laughs> we no, always not do in that the north. In the here, south. Not in the north here, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't walk right into it. You just set yourself up. You walked up. into it, dude. I know camels spit too. I I almost had the opportunity to ride a camel in the Judean desert, but I didn't because I was sick. Oh. Isn't that a bummer? Yeah, that is a bummer. What a letdown Lame. story, huh? Mm-hmm. Very. Yep, yep, yep. A modern tragedy. I rode an elephant once. Wow. Really? Yeah. That's great. Tell us about it. Okay. I said, hi, I want to ride your elephant. And I said, but I, I only want to do it if you take care of them and you don't abuse them because I don't want to support that poop. And yeah. they said they didn't, and they went. They walked me through their procedure of their care for the elephants, and it seemed pretty good. And I was like, okay, this is this is fine. I have a clean conscience when I ride this elephant. Uh-huh. And I, I was like, well, and I can give it extra love now too, you know, giving it kisses, giving it hugs and pets. And then afterwards, they started like hitting and hurting it. Oh my god! And ever since then, I've had huge trust issues with animal keepers. Was this like a zoo? It was in Cambodia at Angkor Wat. Okay, cool. Yeah. Was that during the Vietnam War? (laughs) (laughs) Yes, precisely. Okay. I am that old. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, I was. I'm going through an apocalypse now phase. I just watched a bunch of internet clips of it, but the elephant. How big was it? Very. Okay. It was like a full-grown elephant. <laughs> In relation it wasn't like one to of the kid ones. like th- the size of this room. Okay. Bigger. Dang. No. <laughs> I, you know, now I feel everything's like a blur, and room. I'm kind of confused. You can't really use that as yeah. a <laughs> size comparison in an audio podcast. In my but. mind, it was as big as this room. That's pretty I big, though. So. Like, even if you're if you're listening, you know that there's at least four people in this room. That's a it's a decent and sized room. Like two it's lamps. Big. One I'd lamp. Say There's some microphones. No, what'd you say the dimensions of this room are? Eighteen by twelve? <coughs> There's no way. Sure. sure. No way. I don't know. Uh I don't know two? feet. I th- I, I'm more about the height. Okay. I'm thinking of the height of this elephant. I I do meters, so <laughs> Wow. Like Look at this kid meters. over here. I think it's meters. twenty feet. Twenty feet. I just 20 I just tall? measured with oh. my fingers. That's good. It's pretty accurate. I Trust the methods. Yeah. Elephants remember a lot. Did you guys know that? That's what yeah, they say. Yeah, they're very wise. Like, very wise. Does yeah, remembering the a lot make you wise, though? Does what? Does just remembering a lot of things make you wise? Dude, that's no. deep, man. No, because it doesn't. You gotta, a lot. Wisdom so, uh, is really knowledge wise. about life, dude. I think elephants do have wisdom. Wisdom is though. applied knowledge I think they do. Life. I think <laughs> they have applied knowledge about life. How do In you test way? an animal's wisdom? I don't <laughs> though, like, I don't know. how can you determine if an animal yeah, Paul, is wise? You can't make these great claims without well, evidence. Well, actually, actually, they do prove that through their behavioral patterns, ah. and I'm pretty sure that through their migrating patterns, that it is slightly proven, and through the way that they work as a herd. That's great. I have Science, never, I didn't guys? know that they migrated. You to know, be honest, that could have <laughs> all been false, but I said it. <laughs> no, it's no, not no, no. True. That's true, everyone. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw a documentary uh, once about elephants. Can you say documentary again? Documentary. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Are you sure you weren't <laughs> dreaming, Paul? Documentary of the century. <laughs> they yeah, I was not dreaming. You're it was sure? about elephants. It was super sad actually. I don't know why I'm bringing this up. They it was like these elephants were stop. were killed by <laughs> poachers. You can still go back in a cave, and and the elephants were scarred from that. They were traumatized, and they would never go back to that cave. Huh. They, were, they were killed. So they learned. So they were traumatized. Wow. The, the other elephants. I was like, they killing, rem- killing is pretty traumatic. They, they remembered. That reminds me. That's wisdom right there. something in me, too. Yes. It has to do with elephants and bones, and they could, what? like, recognize the bones, or they would, like, revisit the bones of their deceased ones. Or that's something nuts. like that. That's, that's, that's what I was saying. Yeah, elephants that's are wise. Exactly what Paul was saying. Mm-hmm. Really? No. Okay, maybe. Okay. No. I have no idea. Cool. <laughs> Everything's blue. No, how do you feel about elephants, wisdom? I have no comments. Okay. It's just interesting that everybody says they're wise, but... They're smart, dude. But are they the dominant species? No. They could be. In India, they are. (laughs) Jeez. But does having wisdom make you dominant? Should. I mean, It gets you to the top. It gets you up there. It gets you up pretty high, I'd say. 
there's two two determining factors for success in ascending hierarchies, and that is competence and intelligence. And I think they're pretty intelligent. I, I bet they're pretty competent. How how they're good? How what was the quality of your elephant ride? On what scale? It, Pretty up there. It huh? was at a nice pace. Okay. It had a nice little rhythm bounce to it. Yeah. And it lasted about 15 minutes. I'd say that's very competent. That sounds competent. Mm-hmm. So speaking of Vietnam, Trump <laughs> and <laughs> Kim Jong Un oh yeah. are over there meeting. Vietnam, no, they right stopped now? meeting. Do they? They stopped. They stopped the summit early. For the they couldn't for reach the an second agreement. time though. This is the second time, right? Didn't they already yeah. didn't meet in the green? Yeah, no, they were having like a summit or whatever, and they serious? canceled early because they couldn't like come to a conclusion. I thought I thought things were what? going well. What could they not conclude about? Probably. Hey, let's not nuke nuke fate. each other. <laughs> Launching okay. nuclear missiles. Yeah. You let's, know what's let's funny? Let's not nuke each other. Oh, we disagree. I heard right, in the summit news. Over. <laughs> this is like the third biggest news story. Um, that India and Pakistan yep. might have a nuclear war. Yeah. What? Yeah. Y- that it's would suck. crazy how like that's not even in the headlines. We gotta protect the Just elephants, on the dude. Side. Huh. Nobody cares. Pakistan and India. Yeah, for real. Oh, Jeez. Pakistan's Why? like a D-level. They're in D-level. They have on that, a little please? cold war. Um, well, they hate each other. Pakistan and India do. Mm-hmm. And why? Uh, well, India. I think I think it goes back to a lot of religious wars and also. Other things, political wars, wars, elephant wars, elephant perhaps wars. Okay. Yeah, so it's elephants behind hated. everything. They hate each other. They hate. That's one of the biggest rivalries. It's like, um, <laughs> I was gonna say Israel and Jordan, or like Israel and Lebanon, or like Israel and everywhere. How dumb do you <laughs> have to be to have thirty times the population of a country, and then go into a nuclear war with them? I don't understand the question. Do you what understand you the amount of troops oh, yeah. that they would have Yeah. compared to the amount of troops that Pakistan would have? But it's it's a nuclear war, though. Yeah, dude. Numbers don't matter. Numbers don't matter, exactly. That's why right, Pakistan but I'm saying would be wise. Well, I'm not wise, bombs. but... If you're India, why not play to your strength? Why would you get into a nuclear war? That's a oh, yeah, yeah. They why might you just launch a... first. <laughs> oh. I mean... Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> they don't have to, like, That's come true. together and agree on nuclear war. <laughs> That's cool. How we're right. having another Cold War, but it's like not us in Russia. It's somebody that else. is pretty cool. That's weird. Like we're we're observing now. So this was like, we have switched places with Pakistan and India from the fifties. Do you think That's we're cool. just gonna like chuckle at them, like watch their mistakes? Like <laughs> we did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, catch up, guys. We did that fifty years ago. Come on, kids. History. <laughs> yeah. So about, how about the kids? <laughs> how about the kids? You know, Linnea. Since we have a girl, this is a good statistic. Um, <laughs> What are you about to say, Paul? There are 40 oh, million more men than women on the planet Earth. Isn't that sad? 40 million more? Isn't that million sad? More? <laughs> yeah. More men than women. Isn't that crazy? I don't know what bummer? to do about that. Yeah. Is that is that a problem? Do I need to go balance out the ratio? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. That Thanos? Is this my yeah, literally Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you guys need to just... Stop existing. So <laughs> <laughs> this is true yeah, equality. The, the ratio <laughs> back to <laughs> normal. <laughs> Even as all things should be. Perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. That's The right. hardest choices require the strongest wills. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Had to be said. <clears throat> I think it's crazy that the Moody ratio is like 50-50, like almost exactly. Is it really? Guys to girls. I thought it was like 51-47. No. <laughs> Who I don't trust you? any of Paul's facts because I think they just come from his Paul own Paul watches creation. like documentaries in his dreams and they just tell him crazy <laughs> things. You've told me about your dreams, dude. They're weird. They're awesome. Paul, can you share a They're dream? So can you talk cool. about the dream with no. the Joker? Last no, night I had a started. dream with, uh, with a pistol. I had a pistol. I was like in this store and uh, they were going out of business. This was probably like a, a psychological projection of Lifeway or something like that. And I had a, a forty caliber gun, and I was, I don't know, I think I was shooting somebody. I don't know. <laughs> Stuff happens. And the Joker dreams are pretty deep, though. Those were weird. The Joker told- dreams? It's oh a reoccurring goodness. symbol in my dream. He tries to get me to do bad things. 
He's like he's like a symbol you, for Satan. Wait, is this the when you had the dream with me in it and he was on the stairs? That was a joke. No, wasn't it, it wasn't. That was a different guy. That was the physical manifestation of death. Actually, oh, that was, right, that was a different guy. That one. Yeah, but there's lots of symbols though, like that. Um, I've only seen the physical manifestation of death in that one dream. In that one, cool. but I've seen the Joker. You think you were about to times. die at that point? If he would have caught you, you would have died. I don't think so. I think I had a pretty pretty good upper hand on him. He beat death in that dream, I did. actually. Dang. I beat death with two baseball bats. <laughs> two? Were you dual two. wielding? I was dual wielding. I was looking for a weapon, and the only that thing I could find so were these two baseball bats. <laughs> That's completely no, ineffective. <laughs> well, <laughs> so much easier to use two hands with one, Paul. I grabbed him, and he turned into foam, and I just started ripping him up. <laughs> So what good so was the baseball the, bat? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I had baseball bats Dude, and then I didn't. Foam's it's weakness it. is baseball bats. It's not completely coherent, but you the get foam the, absorbed the, the, the bats. Themes, you know, you, yeah, the yeah. Themes, of you don't look at it for the for the uh, for the empirical side of it. You look at it for the themes. You're trying to unless there's huge that's symbolism behind that. You know? What? Unless there's huge symbolism behind those bats. Oh, I mean, maybe they're the bats metaphorical represent? swords for. But they disappeared. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, because he tried he tried to find something to help him fight, but really he had it within him all along. That's it. <laughs> but really, you can't depend the enemy on was only tools. foam. You made the That's enemy. Right. You the constructed enemy. him out of foam. <gasps> and I tore him, I disassembled him because you don't have to be afraid, Noah. And then you woke up, which <laughs> Got represents that, Noah? did you hear that? The I'm losing the brain cells by the second over <laughs> here. Noah, what's no, your craziest dream? My cra- beautiful. I don't dream. You that's what oh, you think. that's Everybody such a lie. Dreams. Everyone You're just dreams. not able to remember them. Oh. Yeah, you're not like an elephant, dude. You can't remember. Oh, okay. Pepperidge Farms that's not. That's literally not possible. <laughs> There's somebody who's ripping on elephants now. I don't remember any dumb. dreams that I have, and okay. I don't think that I dream. But I might dream. You do dream. Everybody dreams. You should start. What's your, what's your like, real life dreams? Like, what do you aspire to be? What do you like, besides do? a se- sex therapist. But like My real life dreams? <laughs> oh, what? What does he want to be? I <laughs> oh, shoot. I forgot we had a girl on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he okay. wants to be a, a, what is it, a family counselor? But he came into my room once and he's like, hey, Paul, guess what I'm going to do with my life? I said, what? He's like, I'm going to be a sex therapist. <laughs> oh, wow. Elaborate for her. You know? Yeah, and so I, it's an it's I, an I, two I, certifications, a dual life dual licensure um it's an lmft and a cst which is a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified sexual therapist and so um what that would look like is like helping um children who struggle with sexual identity issues Oh, um, yeah. this is helping. Serious. It's actually, yeah. I thought it was funny. Okay. Yeah, he right. actually so, wants, yeah. so legitimately say, wants to be that. So no, say it's you're, really cool. It's so really say cool. you're no, it's a Christian good. It's a good dad. Thing. You're a Christian dad. Your kid has been fed all this crap at the, you know, the local public school. So much crap. Um, it's true. He's, you know, Public's seven, crap. six, seven years old, <laughs> and he's being told that like he can be a girl if he wants. But you want good Christian counsel for your kid. You have no experience. How do you help him? So you send him to a Christian sexual therapist. So, Thanks. That Noah. is amazing. Yeah. yeah, He's a good guy. Where that was, are we that going was great. That? Yeah, what are your other dreams and aspirations other than that? You got any other ones? If I could go back, I would be a NASCAR driver or try Ooh. to. You know, you still can, still right? Time, I definitely. like basketball. <laughs> it's not like you have to. You don't have enough money to be a NASCAR driver. What do driver. you have to go back to? Right. Was there like all of a sudden like this opportunity is like, hey man, you can be a NASCAR driver right he said, now. Just nah. leave everything. These guys he start eight. so young now. Oh, and unless dude. you have millions of bucks in your back pocket. Yeah. What about in your no front money. pocket? Do you have any in the front? I got you. you have any? Check? <laughs> all my money goes to that. Did you leave it in the laundry your wallet on the street. <laughs> That's okay, no. I did one time. And this did you stranger find brought it back like a day later and laid it on my front door. Oh, that's, that's an beautiful. angel, my friend. Yeah, wow. kind of nice. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. He was a fireman. That's Found sweet. it on the road. Double a hero. fireman and an angel <coughs> at Who the was, same can time. I, can I meet this man? <laughs> what? Is he single? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, those are some great <laughs> dreams, Noah. Yeah. Wait. If I had bucks in my back pocket, I'd give them to you right now. Yeah. I'd become a NASCAR mm-hmm. driver. Just so you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's a I think there's a a thing where um something like you have to be called up to NASCAR by a certain point, like before a certain age. 
You have to be predestined. I may be wrong on that, but I think there's a thing like you have to be a certain like below 25 years old or something like that. Yeah. To be called up into NASCAR type of thing. Um, unless you've raced there, like there are some really old drivers that have been retired and kind of come back to fill in. And, but I'm pretty sure that's a, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. So you have a certain amount of time that you are like eligible to to get pulled up, and wow. then it's kind of so. How toast. old are you, Noah? Um, almost 21. Almost Still got time. 21. Justin, how old are you? I am 19 years old as of cool, two weeks ago. Cool. Wow. I'm older than both of you. That's crazy. Wait, how old are you? How old are you? 21. 21? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. When's your birthday? 420. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. How about you? Because you have, like, the cool... I. It's not a fake license, I swear, officer. Yeah, that's right. Record. Even though my last <laughs> name is Savage and my birthday is 420. <laughs> but it's a real It's, it's a real, real thing. thing. That's really me. Yep, my um, life is a meme. I get it. Yep. Do you, do you want close to NASCAR driving that you can still do? Very tangible and something I aspire to do one day. Uber driving. Racing go-karts? <laughs> no. The bull run thingy. In oh you know, yeah, you know in the Madrid, thing Madrid. Where you yeah. Run the that bull that Mark Job thingy. has talked about yes. some times. Yes, Job that thing. thing. <coughs> the Mark so Job that analogy. Thing. He's ever since he's become president, I've just that dream has taken control of my mind. It's pretty crazy. I really want to go to Spain. I always had a dream to to fight a bull. That'd be cool. Yeah. That was Paul. What have you not wanted to fight? Seriously, I'm a fighter, man. I'm a fighter. Paul, you're a lover, not a fighter. I am. <laughs> I'm both. <laughs> I love the people I fight. <laughs> yeah, my buddy I and I. I remember. You loved. I remember when I when I discerned this dream. I was in a car with my friend. We were driving past this uh, this cow farm, and I said, "Hey, you know, it'd be so liberating if we could fight a bull." He said, "Yeah." I said, "Yeah." Like not not with weapons though. Like us so we know that it's us who's doing it you know does it have to be a real bull yeah it's got to be real like a real living bull i want to fight it and make it put it in a submission hold what Dang. if it was like just a really big person dressed in a bull suit what if you thought i would me? also what if you fought that? me dressed as a but bull? i don't think it'd be as liberating okay mm. what if you didn't know <laughs> like you beat it and then you rip the head off and you're like tim what are you doing in a bull costume <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nuts. Wow. <laughs> that would be okay. I'd be all right. That'd be an experience right there. <laughs> I feel a little deceived, but it'd be so funny. I'd be okay with it. I think that you should take some time, like stop going to Moody and take train. a time in your life to yeah. train. And yeah. then you work your way up from the food train. You s- chain. You start with like a worm. Food train? The food chain is what I meant to say. <laughs> Shut up, Paul. <laughs> Mr. Uh, documentary. <laughs> No, you start with like a worm and you work your way up the food chain <laughs> until you get to like a great white shark or something. Let's just go. to see where you land cool. in uh, so cool physical power. Figure out where so I am. Cool. Mm-hmm. Wow, what's yeah. at the very top that you'd have to be? Another human. <gasps> no, that's <laughs> shut up. If it was like the rock or something. <laughs> no, an awesome. elephant, dude. Dude, over the, the summer, I was in the same mall as the rock. That's no, crazy. did you yeah. see him in Hong Kong? No, I didn't. In Hong Kong, that's nuts. I that's know. Kind of the Rock and you were just chilling in Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. So wait, that's how did cool. you know he was there? Did you see him? I sensed his presence. Oh. I was like, he's here. <laughs> the Rock. <laughs> I feel it him. Was all I'm hitting over rock bottom right now. Media. He must be nearby. Oh wow! So cool. Wait, that's <sighs> crazy. I know. What? Wow. I'm sorry you didn't get to meet him. It's wow. okay. I'm great. It's okay. Do you think it'd be like? Do you think he'd be a nice guy if you went up to him and just said hi? He seems nice. He seems nice, too. He does seem but a lot nice. of celebrities seem nice. I don't know. Yeah. No, no what he do you think? He looks like my dad. Really? Mm-hmm. You have a dad? Is your dad, like, ripped? I do have a dad. <laughs> my dad is ripped. Paul, females have dads, bald. too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's so sexist, Paul. What the heck? Sorry, I just don't understand these things. Yeah, it's okay. Women? I'm learning. Not very <laughs> yeah. nice. It's okay, Paul. Yeah, I'm just learning <laughs> it's like when it's you criticize concept. the birthing <laughs> process is. dude it's so sexist <laughs> it sounds like you need a, a sex therapist paul to tell you of no ways no can, can you be my sex therapist sure. on the podcast <laughs> what it's is a live a, session what is a girl <laughs> <laughs> first thing i do is assign you some homework <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> go meet a girl Check. Hi, Paul. Hey, Linnea. My name's Linnea. Assignment one complete. <laughs> what's what's assignment two? There is no assignment two. It's just assignment you did one. It. And then Good job, done. Paul. Yeah. You've graduated Good sex therapy. Girls. Yes. Yay. Well, the, the goal of the therapy was to introduce Paul to a female. 
So the female. So the homework. You are the female. I'm homework the accomplished the that goal, and <laughs> therapy is complete. <laughs> Look at go. that, dude. I'm glad you exist in your your degree profession. You know, I know I'm, I'm very pleased that you exist as well. Just had to be said. Me too. Yeah, your affirmation is irrelevant to me. <laughs> okay. Oh it's because he's from the south. He doesn't understand criticism. That's right. And the opposite of that is what I meant to say. For <laughs> 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 <Wait> a second. <laughs> Linnea. Okay. You know, it's pretty sketchy running from bulls. <laughs> Is that something you want to do? Can you handle it? I'd do it. I, you Did know, he ask you? I didn't ask you, <laughs> Yeah. Noah. That's well, okay. I I feel free to give my input. Okay. You know. He's going to edit that out. <laughs> there's just something that doesn't scare me about a bull. Yeah. I don't know if it's the two big horns or the eyes of death staring, but I'm just like, yeah. what's up, bro? There's like, come yeah. at me. And I think, like, what you said about liberation, I think mm-hmm. it really would come when, like, you're running. Yeah. In those moments while, like, the bulls are, like, trying to... Yeah. Um, gorge you. Guys I think gorge see, is I just, the term. Gorge is a good word. I just pretend I had horns and went like this. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah. It'd be really powerful, empowering, because then I'd be like, I just conquered the bulls, because I'm obviously going to outrun them. Yeah. You know? You know, Obviously. I hear, I think most of the people who get injured were running. So I think maybe it's you better just to. walk among them. So there's an, okay. <laughs> yeah. A new strategy needs to new be New strategy. I think if you go in there with that mindset, like, what's up, bro? And you oh. stand still. Oh my gosh. I think that's going to confuse them. And I think yes. you're going to get in their heads and you might just like save everybody else. Dude. No. Completely new outlook. You okay. go in. And you're like kind of gonna connect with the bulls. Oh, they're gonna like kind of like kind of like they're gonna kind of submit to you, kind of thing. Yeah, but like of their free choice. Take them by the horns. Oh, you okay? No, (laughs) you take them by the horns. You stare in their eyes and say, like, I understand you. (laughs) Oh, and then do you though? Doesn't matter if you do or not. You're telling them that. (laughs) I would just tell them that, (laughs) and then it triples you to death. Would you just listen? (laughs) His life is dirt, and he means nothing. This is a great theory. They submit you know after what, that. And, you know what yeah. really makes me mad is the word rural. Rural? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know. you can't say it without sounding rural. just unintelligent. Rural. Rural. I'm from our rural. 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 It sounds like an animal noise. Rural. 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 Like, who thought rural? <laughs> this is a great word. Rural. We'll just start saying rural. it. Rural. rural. I don't think that's how rural. language rural. works. I don't think you just say it. I mean, rural. when you're... You know. they, they, Pick and show choose from some different languages. Like rural had to come from somewhere, dude. Somebody made that choice. But it came from Where Germany. do you think the word documentary came from? Documentary. Documentary. I believe the root is French, uh, <laughs> coming in a mix of, uh, of Vulgate <laughs> Latin, Dacum, and uh, mentri. <laughs> you just have to sound like you're throwing up when you speak French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like now. it. Just sounds like you're literally. It sounds like you're throwing up. No, Everything. It's the love language. What Noah. if like one of our the 20 French to me is, is French and you just scared him off? The French to me are we worthless. Love you, what have they ever done to us? <laughs> what have they, they ever done? They dude. gave us the Statue of Liberty. They, they wussed they out and got fund, run over. They helped fund actually the American Revolution, Noah. That's okay. right. Huh? Only because they hated England and about a, not even a hundred years before that they fought against us in the French and Indian War. Dang. What about and they got run over and bailed French out by baguettes. us in both world wars. Wow. They're worthless. What they ever no, 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 Noah. Noah. What, what about baguettes? Have you ever baguettes? had a baguette? Yeah, we had bread before the French. Okay, they got that from <laughs> Italy. We had bread before the French. I think the French existed a long time before Americans. Why do you guys know so much about the French? Are you guys I just know all the negative facts dreams? because I hate <laughs> them. Tell me. Are you guys things. all like super into history? <clears throat> I mean, no. I sometimes Paul has dreams and he comes in my room and tells me stuff. So Dude, you'll that. never guess. <laughs> the French actually stole baguettes from Italy. I, I learned that last night. Stop it was incredible. <laughs> it's in my dream, dream man. Joke. I just the really don't like the French. Me. That's crazy, man. I think that you should go conquer. I mean, really, what France. have they done? What has France done? Yeah, uh, maybe we, or maybe we got some like art. Yeah, I'm right. playing devil's advocate. I'm Napoleon not. I'm neutral great. when it comes to the French. I think that they get a lot of hate, and so I kind of pity them. But at the same time, I've heard a lot of bad reviews from France. The French Revolution was kind of metal, though. That was sweet. I don't know, man. It's kind of messed up. Yeah, but the decapitation. That's, that's really what I'm saying. Up. That's pretty messed up. Yeah. I, I know, guess. But they had the courage to do something about it. Are you saying you like 
that? I'm the saying cap- I'm saying that I like <laughs> that I like the people <laughs> taking their free choice and doing something with it. Didn't Alice Cooper decapitate somebody? I don't know, dude. Y'all ever watched the video of Ozzy Osbourne biting the head, head off, off of that? Crow. Yeah. Nah. No. No. He does it was that like, at shows. Yeah, he bites the head off of a bird it's and like spits crow. it out at his shows. It's okay, crazy. so you can say that's gnarly, but the French Revolution is just kind of lame. Okay, Paul. Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't like the French. I said it. Noah, I'm on your team now. No, I hate the French. I'm new. I, I told you, I'm neutral. Well, There's yeah. no. How point. do you feel about the French? There's no point. In I the French. love everyone, including the French. Wow. I'm for you guys. Thanks for the girl answer, Linnea. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the French. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Put them low in the di- dominance hierarchy. <laughs> that's right. We talk about dominance hierarchy sometimes on the show. Cool. Paul just likes yeah. to stare at people. That's his excuse. <laughs> that's right. Like in a in a mean way, like, why are you looking at me sort of way. I think oh, eye contact great. is weird, though. Like, I str- like talking to people, I don't like to just stare at them in the eyes. Oh, I love it. I, it's weird when you become, like, cognitioned of it and you're, like, thinking... Is this too much? Yeah. It's yeah. probably too True. much. <laughs> it's just strange. Like, I can look at them, and they kind of look off, and I look at them again, and then, you don't want to you know. think about it, you know? And it's so interesting, like, it's how weird. the eye contact, too, <laughs> for, like, the psychology of relationships differs. Like, differs. Whoa. Mm. Like, for somebody you like, like, romantically, than, like, just a friend and, like, a complete stranger. Yeah. It's so intense. It's mm. different culturally, too, because in some Asian cultures making eye contact while you talk to them is like really disrespectful. Right. They think that you're trying to like assert your dominance. Well, I am. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> exactly yeah, what you're that's, doing. Yeah, so like. I like to, that's, that's my two looks. So I'll either, there's like the romantic one. I do that with people who I'm not trying to assert my dominance over. So it's like those huh. two eye contacts that I do. Frequently. How do you distinguish? Is um, there a difference? You'll know. I'll just <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Thank right. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. So, Linnea and I went to a Led Zeppelin concert. Um, the whole real uh, live Led Zeppelin. The real live That's Led right. Zeppelin with uh, John Jimmy Bonham Page and everything. And yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. It was great. Pretty uh, cool. A lot of old people. Love old, old people. people. <laughs> yeah, they're people cool. cool. Drunk lady came up to me and talked to me for a while. She really? was cool. Yeah, no after way. I went to the bathroom, David had to like, uh, come in and pull me away. Nice. She's cool though, you know. Yeah. Drunk and old, give Ooh, them to me. That's a good combo. Yeah. Reminds okay. me of my family. <laughs> 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 yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Linnea, tell us about the rave you went to. Oh my gosh. This you want the story? Yeah, I want this story. Tell me about the rave. <laughs> I re- didn't I tell you the story? Yeah, but, but these guys haven't okay, heard. It's okay. True. It's a good story. Okay. So okay. About three weeks ago. I was on the train back from my home in Juliet on the train to Chicago and I saw these two guys and they had these bracelets there you see these like cool beads and I was like oh I like those bracelets I'm sure if I talked to them I could get one so I went up to them and I was like hey what's up and I started talking to them and I was like can I get a bracelet and I was like what are they for and they said they're rave candy and some <laughs> rave candy <laughs> and some that's background it. context that's what I'm is about. my the night prior to this happening i was like looking up raves because me and my friend we were like yo let's go to a rave and dance because i love dancing no drugs drugs are awful and i hate them right um they're bad so bad and um i had looked up and there's like this super cool rave and i was like oh i wish i could go to it back to the present moment that I was talking to earlier. So um, I got the bracelet and I was like, what rave are you guys going to? And they said the one that I wanted to go to, Allison in Wonderland. Let's go. And I was like, whoa, that's kind of cool. And I was like, hey, I know I just met you guys, but is it crazy if I like came with you? And they were like, no, that's not crazy. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So like I called up my friend. I was like, is this psychotic? Like, do you think that they're going to take me away and like, put me into some trade or anything and they said no go ahead do it and good friends (laughs) you were the one you were the one who offered to be fair (laughs) they didn't ask you that's right yeah and but then i mean i looked these guys in the eyes and i said hey can i trust you and they said yeah so i mean let's go why should i trust them you you looked them in the eye 
What? You looked them in the eye. I though. looked them okay. in the eye. You know, the whole eye contact, yeah. dominance thing. That's right. It was not romantic. It was dominance. Good. Yeah, yes. exactly. You don't want to mess with me. Yes. Should you mess with me? Just to establish, and this is I not romantic. Sh- this is dominance. <laughs> 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 and I threw out the whole, like, I know kung fu. I'll kick your booty if you, like. Do you? Um, I but you I said don't. it. You said it. I, but I, I said it with confidence <laughs> and right. with dominance. So they thought. Yeah. And I always have a knife on me too. So like, worst comes to worst. I will stab you. I will stab with you. With kung fu. <laughs> Is it a rainbow knife? Yes, <laughs> but it's still a knife. <laughs> um, and so, luckily, I had my glitter in my backpack, mm-hmm. and I was able to get ready on the train. Yeah. They <laughs> drove me to Moody so I could drop off my backpack, and I bought my train my ticket online. And we go to this rave together, and it was super cool, you know? There was, there was the music going, like, I don't know how to imitate it. It was like... <laughs> 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 That's all I heard. <laughs> Just imagine Paul saying documentary really, really rapidly. <laughs> That's what the music sounded <laughs> like. Documentary. <laughs> <laughs> and it was I super got fun. Got I, we met this, like, group of people and we just hyped each other up you know when you get in a circle you're like hey 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 and you're just like dancing yeah everyone was on drugs but not me right not me and i showed these people hey you can dance and have fun and be sober boom that's right did they say hey want to come to a bar afterwards maybe but do you know what I did? I went back to my dorm yeah. and I went to bed. Let's Rave, go. then sleep. Sleep is the best Rave drug sleep. of them all. She still got the bracelet I on, still guys. Still got the bracelet. It's just love yourself. Love yourself. It's really cute. It's true. Wow. You should love yourself totally. Yeah. Like the Justin Bieber song. Yeah. Mm. Wait, which one? I've seen it. You can go <laughs> and love yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I took it from you. That's okay. She's like that. So Wasn't the original like, like <laughs> a bad word in her place? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I think really? it was actually love. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's you good. Go and love you. I, I can see why you think that. Yeah. Though. It just certainly sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Certainly. I, no. Would you like to sing it in that way? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a huge Bieber guy. You know what you are though. Huge NASCAR guy. Yeah, he does like NASCAR. <laughs> no one has. No one knows how to play the guitar. Do you sing when you play guitar? Not really. Do you sing for Molly when you play guitar? <clears throat> no. Is Molly your lady? Your lady friend or lady lady lover? Both. <laughs> lady lady lover? <laughs> wow. wow. That's yeah. pretty serious. No. Wow. Yeah, we've been together three, going on three and a half years now. Okay, so, I have yeah. a question for you. Since she's your lady lady lover and your lady friend, what, okay, is there a difference? Okay, so is she like a bro kind of friend or is she like a different kind of best friend for you? Ooh. You know, like, is there a difference between how you are with her and how you are with the guys kind of thing? Follow up after that. Y- Go ahead. Yes. Yes, there's, there's a, a difference. difference. Should there be? Should there be a difference? I don't know. Between your interaction with... Yeah, yes. Well, when you say it like that, uh, it sounds like stupid, man. Yeah, yes. Noah. Yeah, there Come should on. be a difference. I'm learning. <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah, I don't... Okay. I joke with Molly... But I don't joke with Molly in the way that right. I would with one of my friends. Right. <clears throat> then you—that's probably good, actually. Meaning, that's, that's, that's I make it a good. point. <laughs> yeah. Even though I'm a really sarcastic person, and I say dumb things like "all the French are retarded," which they are. <laughs> you know. You're gonna I, cut can that you part I'm out, not, right, Paul? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bleep out. No, good. I'm yeah. not. That word. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna joke like that with Molly because. I she's want French. to make it a point to Sorry. like build her up and encourage her. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. she's French. No I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 that's funny. Yeah, that's true, man. Because you can totally like guy relationships. We put each other down all oh, the time. Oh, it's great. And, but it's almost uh, it's like paradoxical. It's a form of love. It's encouraging. Right, I but it's fun. Yeah, so nobody cares. Exactly. And you right. feel closer to the other guy when you're sitting there putting each other down. Yeah, exactly. Dude. Okay. I yeah. actually. Like, when you can really insult somebody who you, like, a bro, then mm-hmm. you know, like, the relationship is really good. Yeah. You know? Interesting. Like I say, let me try to think of an example. I know my brother told his buddy the other day. Um, he told me about it. He said, um, hey, when are you going to shave your unibrow? <laughs> 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 he took it really personal. It was supposed to be, like, one of those banters where it's like, oh, man, thanks for talking to me, you know? 
Oh, that's oh, there's, awful. There's little things too. Like I remember Paul and I were getting in the elevator the other day, and Connor was like, "Hey, where are you guys going?" And Paul's just like, "Your mom's house." Am I right? And then just be like out in the elevator. That's love. That's love right that's there. Love, man. That's, that's love. Funny. I love Connor. Yeah, uh, Dave. God bless I've heard his so soul. So much about Dave. Uh, my boy Dave. I was at his wedding, and his brother the whole time was just mocking me about my biceps. He'd say, <laughs> Paul's got small biceps all the time. And I'd be like, dude, they're proportional to my body. <laughs> but it was just, it was just that banter, man. And like, we, we had a good relationship and we, oh yeah, it was great. But that's, that's just what you do. I picture man. Dave's just, brother as being exactly like Dave. He personality no wise, yeah. exactly like Dave. No difference yeah. whatsoever. Same person, except he's like shredded. He plays college football and uh-huh. wrestles. He's an athlete. Oh, He's, so you could actually like? Oh my gosh! Make fun of your biceps, and it was like a serious thing. Yeah, no, it's a serious oh, thing. Cause oh, this okay. guy, this guy was like bench pressing oh, three fifteen, just like regularly. So, yeah, he's a machine. Yeah. But I love. Oh, him. but the point of that, that mm-hmm. question, is because I'm always like, I'm s- like, I always feel like such a bro sometimes, and I'm like, okay. That means that I'm in the friend zone for life. No, not necessarily. You know what I mean, though? I know what you mean. Like, if there's a difference between your bro friends mm-hmm. and then... Yeah. Then I'm like, well... Okay. But no. maybe... No, because I think... I don't know. When, That's a hard thing. When... Uh, sometimes <coughs> I like <coughs> women who I'm able to, like, bro down with, but then yes. once... I guess if we were to start dating, it would be... I, I, I think even the guys who bro down with you right now, like us, we're not going to like insult you like I'd insult that's Noah. Yeah, please don't do yeah. that. I don't I wouldn't like that. do that. Right, cool. right. So I think that's like the only the only difference there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yay! That's right. I'm not going to be single. But the physicality right. of it is different too. Just, I mean, even, yeah. even, you know, holding hands or something as simple as that is like... It makes her. It gives the relationship a totally different vibe than. Don't hold hands with my bros. I saying. do. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so. Okay. Moody. Okay, Jeff gets a little fruity sometimes. <laughs> yeah, Jeff is pretty fruity. <laughs> Moody is such a touchy culture. Y'all are telling me. That's yeah. true. <laughs> like before, before you came to Moody, were you as like touchy as you are now? Like, cause like, <laughs> like yeah. I, you were. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've always been that way. <laughs> really? At okay. camp, it's pretty pretty bad too really like, well camp is similar to moody in that way i think I, uh, who do you think's worse with it though guys or girls uh what really? are we talking about I'm like touching this like touching even like, like physically you know. touching somebody yeah like, yes. like platonic like, like, like i, I don't like touch girls, people girls are oh, super why are touchy. you touching yeah me? And I I like, like growing up my friends and i never were like that <clears> and now i came here i'm like like sometimes really? i'll walk into colby yeah. one and there'll be like a girl like sitting on another girl's lap and they're just like talking i'm like what strange yeah no, I'm like not that, that's not like average, but like <laughs> I've seen it happen a couple times. I was times. forced to change, <laughs> adapt. I've seen like, but it's just weird. I feel like that doesn't really happen with guys. Like we like when we do it though, it's like more like mess, like playing, like messing around, like wrestling kind of thing. Yeah, I just don't like to be touched. Yeah, I know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> or touch people. It's Guess just how weird I know? Because <laughs> I touched. No, remember that one time, time we went in your room and gave you a hug, Paul and I did. Paul, why are you did touching you? me? We did. Yeah, you were playing. Uh, you were playing. Uh, video game. I can't really remember. Basketball. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, basketball. <laughs> basketball. Uh, video basketball game. game Noah. <laughs> Why are you touching me? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's pretty much how it went. Yeah. Noah, Not, how come you don't have a country accent? I don't know. It comes out sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it does. Yeah. Did you? Does was there a point in your life when you decided I'm not going to have a country accent? Is it a conscious thing you're supposed to? This is rebellious yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the north. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I never thought about it. I've always heard that I have a I really know, thick accent. So uh, really it's strange, yeah, that you say that. Because have you been looking for it? I try to try to like look for okay, it. Try to s- like I'll bring out the flashlight. Yeah. Even yeah, my professors were asking me. Where are time. you from, yeah. buddy? Mm-hmm. Huh. <laughs> My friends and I in high school, we were really touchy. Really? Yeah, like we would sleep. Uh, when they would come over, we'd like all sleep on the floor <laughs> side by side yeah. next to each like other. Like spooning? L- yeah, pretty close. Yeah. Pretty close. Um, yeah, we were just really physical, really uh, mm. really touchy. Um don't give me that look. How does Noah. that make you feel, Noah? No, Paul, I'm on your side with that. That's right, dude. I mean, mm. we're bros. We 
we're brothers, you know? We <laughs> Just trying to find different ways to say bro. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are Amigos, the brethren. <laughs> uh, hermanos. Actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's Hebrew. <laughs> yeah, I know Hebrew. Tell your friends. <laughs> Shabbat shalom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some more. I know you are. I don't know. Mazel tov. That definitely happens, though. It does. I mean, I was in show choir, so. Ooh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I was just making a touchy. Joke about how, yeah, it's real touch. Oh yeah, I get not it. you're in way, show though. choir. I was the president. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. He was also so, president of his school that's and true. president of the wow. tennis club. That's in Science Olympiad. In Science Olympiad. It's a good time Are in high school. Did you take the Enneagram? The what? Okay. He's a three. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. He's, he's a, a three. three. <laughs> what? You're yeah, a three. You're an achiever. So am I, Justin. Out of three, hopefully. <laughs> <I'm a> four. <laughs> win three. Ooh, ooh. This is the winner's podcast. That's yeah. true, actually. That's right. The rest of y'all are losers. Winner. Just kidding. Only Just if kidding. you're French. <laughs> Only if you're French, then you're a loser. According to Noah, I'm yeah. indifferent to the French. I'm indifferent. <laughs> okay. Um, well, everybody... Uh, Linnea is going to start her own podcast here in the near future, and it's going to compete with this one. It's going free, to free compete and conquer this one. Ooh. I'm going to absorb this one Ooh. and spit it out. Didn't we just absorb yours? Wow. No, yeah. no. Aren't this you is a part of the plan. Podcast? I'm like a little oh. parasite. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You're, okay, you're digging in. Sucking out. I'm getting that good deets, the info. Yeah, you're figuring out what a good podcast is. figure out how to get facts. Is. You have to dream. Then I'm going to take That's over. Right. Yep. Ooh, ooh. That's I right. will take that Shots personally. Fired. That's a threat. Mm. Uh, It'll be in man. your dreams tonight. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Along um, with the Joker. <laughs> 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 oh, man. The Joker. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that's deep, guys. That's real in my head. I got to get over that for a second. I just gotta need to process. Got to figure out what that Joker means. Wow. Okay. Linnea. The Joker represents Yo. Noah. We're going to do something now. Are uh, we going to do a rap battle? Close. Okay, I would actually do that though. Would yeah, you? Me too. You guys can rap battle in a second, okay? We're okay. gonna do my thing first. Okay. <laughs> do your thing, Paul. Would you be willing to be in the hot seat? We're gonna ask you rapid fire questions about you because you're our special guest. Okay. Okay. Were we supposed to bring questions? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I didn't tell you. I was hoping you'd like think of that. Like guest on the show, I should think of questions. Oh, okay. My to bad. Ask my bad. Guest. It's only show number three, Paul. Okay. Why are birds the only animal with white feces? And. Is so that her question? Is that your question? No, I believe asking why. I, I don't think the feces is white. No, we're doing my thing. The we'll you never had a bird poo <laughs> in your car. No, ruining the plan, yeah, that's, guys. That's the urine, though. There's a little brown dot in the middle. That's the feces. Wait, they have white the urine white that just stays there? Oh, that's the white is when people thick. get. No, that's a true fact, though. Look it up. The white part is the like urine. So they've got like yeah. solid yeah. urine, kind of. Yeah. Uh, but it's like there's like a brown part in the middle that's also like <laughs> yeah. feces. And they just do it all at once. Yeah, that's kind of cool, though. Weird. That's not that cool. We need a. <laughs> that's, really not, that's really <laughs> not that cool. <laughs> is it better than the French though? I wonder if T Rexes did the same thing. They have feathers, they right? They probably did, man. They're like birds. Can you imagine that? A big old T Rex splat. Do they lay Ugh. an egg at the same yeah. time? They do all of that. All through, through the same, same hole. hole. All through the same uh, hole. Uh, wow, we need so a about bird this biologist. How's hot, hot, hot seat? Linnea, what's up? Who are you? I am Linnea Victoria Anderson. My favorite color is rainbow. I am 21 years old, and I'm super freaking awesome. Wow. That's exactly the answer I was looking for. <laughs> yep. What are your aspirations? Besides to absorb your show? Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, there are many. I want to write a book. I'm working on it right now. <gasps> I Yeah, you guys are writing a book. We're too. writing a book. Paul and too. I are writing a book. So. Wow. Mine's on the concept of fear. Ours is on suffering. Cool. <laughs> Super dark. I love it. Part of the same set. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, I want to. Is it? Uh, are these serious responses? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. I also want to learn all the martial arts so then I can take down the male population to bring it to the balance. I think that's my ultimate goal in life is to, to reduce 40 the population. Million. Redu <laughs> I am no, totally just, I supportive. I want harmony. Yeah. You know? Balance. Balance of... That's what <laughs> feminism is all about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Exterminating 40 million men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about and the French. Take out the French, the French while you're in it. There's probably a lot of French men you can get rid of. Start with them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start with them. Yep. Yeah. So that's my main aspiration. They're all in metrosexual. Life. Thank anyway. you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's true. Okay. 
Well, Please. what are you doing here? I, right now, I'm speaking into a microphone that is catching my words into its little recording device mm-hmm. and transmitting it down and says something. Are you a woman of science? I am a woman of science, yes. That is that is me. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. That's good to hear. I am. Facts. 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 But feelings. <laughs> and feelings. How are you feeling? In this moment... My my jaw's kind of tired and my belly's kind of hungry uh, and my eyeballs are kind of heavy, but I can't nap. Mm. I can't okay. sleep. Naps are so bad and I'm against them. Really? Wow. Well no, they're not so bad if you take a twenty minute nap. But anything mm-hmm. past that yeah. I feel like waste my I took time. A three hour nap like two days ago. I did really? Too. Nuts. It was nuts. Did you Everyone feel really dinner. tired afterwards? Yeah. Um I felt Weird afterwards. Yeah. yeah, it was like not normal, you know. When you wake up and yeah. you like f- don't even know like what day rocked. it is. It was yeah. like I just That's got weird. rocked. <laughs> Rapid fire, go. Um, um I just want to say, bang, hey, bang. before we do this, there's around 32.5 million men in France, so you get most of <laughs> okay. it if you start there. <laughs> got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the research. I do um, it. why did you go to Iowa? Um, because I wanted to study animal science and I was studying biology, but I wanted to study animal science. I wanted to rehabilitate animals in Africa and help those that were endangered. Why do you like animals? Um, at that time in my life, I liked them more than humans because I thought that they <laughs> were cuter and more wonderful and less, <laughs> really dark, less harmful and hurtful. And they're really wonderful and I only saw good things of them, so I want to take care of them. What's your third favorite reptile? My third favorite reptile would have to be, my first is a snake, my second is a snake, and my third is a snake. If you could be any other person in the world, who'd you be? Paul Savage. Yes. <laughs> Just can't I take that back, Hannah Montana. No, I take that back to <laughs> Miley um, Cyrus. <laughs> Miley Cyrus, yes. <laughs> After she shaved her head. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. That's kind of risky. I know. That's, that's why I like it. Yeah. Okay. What's your uh, major? Linguistics, American Sign Language, and Hebrew. Let's Next. go. <laughs> Next. Wow, I like Hebrew. That's cool. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. Okay. Uh, Noah, you got any questions? What do you want to do with that? I have no freaking clue. How has your opinion on people changed <laughs> since you hated them? <laughs> <laughs> I love people. Uh, Who's your favorite history. world leader? Ooh, that's a good question. What is Aleppo? <laughs> I that that's too big of a question. Yeah, I don't okay, know. Okay. <laughs> Kim Jong. <laughs> you can't say that. We only know the names of the bad ones. That's true. Kind so of. there. Which uh if you could if you could spend Oh a wait, day my favorite world leader is okay. Dumbledore. <laughs> Good wow. Good answer. Thank you. The, yeah. The wizarding world. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. If you could, if you had the choice between going to the moon for a day or going to a different country for 365 days, which would you choose? The moon, because I'm going to do the other one anyways. Ooh, okay. Wow. But what if you don't have a spacesuit? You never specified. Oh, shoot, man. That's a hole in <coughs> my question. It. That's crazy. Is it an egg hole? Ooh, Sorry. okay. If you were, If you were the emperor of the world... No, okay, okay, wait, wait. This is a game that we play sometimes. Oh, you, this is a. Can we play this game on air sometime? Do you want to do it right now? Yes, let's okay. do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we have just taken track, over the world, the four picks. of us, and we got to pick countries to be ours. Oh Name your my. top five countries to be yours. We have to go round robin. Yeah, in a, in a round robin. Linnea, go ahead. Start us oh off. Oh my Which gosh. Which country do you take? I feel like I don't even know that many countries. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Cambodia, because I love Cambodia. Wow. That's your first pick. So okay. we stop. Go yeah. ahead, Noah. Russia. Interesting choice. I will take Australia. I'll take America. Ooh. Because we're the best. Wow. I'll I was going to take Australia. Sweden. <laughs> Sweden. Okay, Sweden. Go Canada. Canada. Why Canada? Canada sucks. Well, I know Canada Russia and Canada. Canada. No, you can have so Canada. That's, that's cool. Like yeah, oh, Canada's a great. Lot of the world. You should Enjoy take France it, next. That's, that's really cool. I want Uganda. Why? <clears throat> Africa. You think Wakanda's there? Africa. You can access all their, their hidden resources. <laughs> <laughs> We're finding Wakanda. <laughs> I yeah. take Japan for their technology. Oh, I'm thinking nice. strategically. Oh, that's nice. If I'm Japanese, can I have say over you? 
No, that's not how this works. We uh, conquered the whole world. <laughs> I was thinking Uganda because there's gorillas, but... Is there? Wait, no, that's Congo. I yeah, picked the wrong country. I picked Congo. <laughs> Congo's my thing. Oh, that's a power <laughs> play right there. <laughs> As I stare you in the eyes with dominance. China. China. Oh, that's a good job. China. Uh, I want India. Frick, dude, I was going to take it for the take population. Pakistan. That's a fifth of the population. That's right. <laughs> we'll have ourselves a cold war. kind of want to. <laughs> Nah, dude. I take I take Israel, dude. I want the holy the holy land. If God's on my side. God's mm. on my side. Boom. Can't stop me. Nice. I want Egypt. Ooh, that's cool. Brazil. I want Greece. Oh, I forgot about South America. That's a whole continent that I haven't even touched yet. I want I don't know what I want. Just want love. Sounds like a deep I just want I just want, I just want <laughs> somebody fulfillment. Please. Please. <laughs> somebody. I want South Africa. Ooh, diamond mines. Ooh, and racism. That's true. Mostly diamonds, though. <laughs> <laughs> last country. I want Papua New Guinea. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah, this is our last cool. pick. Does yeah, Antarctica pick. count? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's my last pick. <laughs> that's well, that's a actually. Dumb choice. <laughs> you have land, but there's no resources, dude. What are you gonna do there? There's all kinds of resources. You know the like, water that's what? down there. Yeah, it, it's frozen, it's dude. Natural yeah, water. Dude. It's about to, well, it's about to <laughs> be. Yeah, everywhere's got water. No, it's like two thirds of the whole planet. <laughs> right. Well, no. Uh, in terms of the land mass, frozen. in terms of land mass, I own like half the world. Yeah, I think lastly least. we should all pick a nation. I have Canada, <laughs> like Brazil, nobody... China, and Russia. Yeah, what does that do for you, dude? Then you have to spread out your resources I don't further. Land. Ooh, look at me, I got Canada. I'm picking. I you want my socialized health care? <laughs> <laughs> um, Peru. I was yeah. gonna say Peru. I'll take Mexico. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, let's get more of North America. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> well, that's how we do it, guys. If we put in the comments, the world. who would have won? Is that if you is that the whole game? That's the whole that's game. The game. That's oh. <laughs> and the the oh. viewers, the viewers will <laughs> comment. There is the next. <laughs> which empire <laughs> no, will win <laughs> in a war? No. I like that game. Super yeah. Fun. It's uh, I call it colonialism. <laughs> it's great. Fun. <laughs> okay. So. That's uh, an hour and 38 seconds. So, hey, everybody, thanks for listening. But before you go. Before you go, would you like to plug your show? <laughs> oh, <laughs> rapping <laughs> on my show. My name <laughs> is Justin. My last you name is Yob. Go. If you look in my room, I am not a slob. <laughs> Vote no for me. He's from the south. He has a hairy mouth <laughs> right above his head. He's got a mustache. That's what I'm trying right to say. Right above his head. <laughs> 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 nice hat. Noah's Noah. pretty cool. He North swims in a pool. North Korea is bad. I'm sad.